Hey guys, and welcome back to Amori. Last time, after defeating Sweetheart and stopping her from marrying uh, herself, we were interrupted by something very scary. I think now we have to go inside here. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump in? <laughs> Y'all know I don't. But honestly, it's way better than the bear room, so F it. Ya yeah, yeet. I know last episode I sounded incredibly annoyed, and that's because I was. Good God. That bear room legitimately made me angry. But in hindsight, at least it's something to talk to. No hero! All my friends! God dang, bro. Also, the sweetheart boss fight was really, really well done in hindsight. I, it, it was probably my favorite so far. I'm afraid we'll never get another one like that because we're going back to scary stuff. Ooh. Maybe not. Huh. What's all this then? I'm not gonna. Don't say it. Don't say. A kid falling down a hole. Don't. Say, don't make. There's. Come on. There's other games. Don't. Toby Fox. Don't you. Do Get my way. I got Capri Sun to drink. Oh, I thought it was a wall. Boy, if you don't... Uh. Trying to get stuff done. Dang. Let's read the book. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all. And everyone was exhausted. Redacted was the first to nod off. Then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Redacted's head accidentally dropped onto Redacted's shoulder. The sun jolt wakes him. Peasant Dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadily and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun setting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Hmm. Don't want to make any assumptions. Chances are. I mean, I don't know. Sounds like it was maybe Sunny. She's <laughs> crazy. Maybe Sunny and Basil. Wait a minute. Holy crap. I just realized. If. Why, did, why is Sunny the only one that's name is different? And I don't know. Because, yeah, Basil's the same. Aubrey's the same. Even Hero. Strange. Puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Oh god, this is already starting off horrible. Hovering above it is none other than Redacted, holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, Redacted disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. You know, I'm getting tired of saying redacted. I'm gonna say square. Square's face turned red and yells for square, but square is already long gone. Absolved, or should I say, absorbed by the Square Enix Corporation. Square hands square some wet paper towels. Looks like they're the only adults here. If they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They have to deal with redacted later. Oh, I have to have my own thing. Well, whatever. Let's be honest. It's never the most consistent. That reading! <laughs> oh, I don't think we've read this. God dang it, how do I get over there? <laughs> Pardon me. Let's check it out. God, who thought there'd be so much reading in an RPG maker game? It was a hot summer day, and all Square could think of was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were stoned strewn around the area. I've never read that word out loud. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to Square and Square's work. All day, Square watched Square lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched Square hammer his fingers over and over again. I may note that over an hour had passed since Square had climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, Square thought as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so 
though it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. We got a treehouse? Oh, dang! Square knows this and agrees, but reluctantly, he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. Dang. You know, it's kind of like a random thing to bring up, but I've been reflecting on this lately. As a small child, I was a very, uh... The, the heck? I think that can wait. Uh, okay, I, guess, I think we're fine. Tangent, I know this has nothing to do with the Mori, but, um... Sometimes, like, my family would be bringing in the uh, groceries, and I'd be like, Oh, I got a poo-poo so bad! And I would, like, just sit on the toilet, but, like, I obviously, like, my like my anus would not be out. I'd just be sitting there and waiting for everyone else to put the groceries away, because, like, you know, they got to go in the fridge. But I would just do that all the time and make my family, do, like, do all the work. How effed up is that? Ugh. I hate that. Anyways. I'll make it up to him one day. I put my anus away. <laughs> this year, Square was lucky enough to get assigned a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, Square would gave, gaze listlessly through the opening. As the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead, his mind drifted elsewhere, to his own world, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Square started stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly a hand playfully slaps his back, slapping him out of his reverie. Square looks away from the opening. Square smiles. You know, this is awfully confusing, but I'm pretty sure that's Kel that slapped me. He motions that class is over, and that's time for lunch. It's pizza day today. I need a bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Square's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. Dang. What the frick? What are you doing here? Get out of here. Bunch of eyeballs? Eh. I don't know about you guys. My cafeteria was always like pizza or hamburgers every single day. And it kind of became less special. Pizza, that is. And now I just can't really stand the stuff. I mean, if there's, like, a good slice of pizza, like, I'm just like, yeah, I'll get, like, one or two. Now I've moved on. To sushi! <laughs> it's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engraving illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter the company visiting in today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Square jumps first. Then, oh, dude, the squares have different numbers. So what if four squares is hero? Wait, that does make sense. Four squares is hero, because that fits the name. And then three squares is Kel, because his... Then I guess Aubrey hasn't shown up in the story. Then who is one... Who is one square? I guess that could be I, which is Amori and Sunny. Then four again, then three again. You know, this is awfully confusing. The brothers gleefully urge me to join them, and after some careful thought, I warily agree. I shuffle up to the statue and look down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to me with with those of a black spider. In an instant, I lose all sense and hurl myself into the lake. Water fills my nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Dude, this explains it. That's why he's scared of water, too. Or, that is what he believes. I shut his eyes. <laughs> this, is not, this is really hard to read, guys. I'm sorry. And waits for the brothers to save him. Yeah, it's the brothers, dude. I do be stupid, but sometimes I can put five or seven together, make 24, baby. Woo! Wait. Hmm. I don't believe that's right. Well, might as well finish the story. I wonder if there's another bookshelf. <gasps> Johnny's reading comprehension. You better take that L. That's not how you say sushi. It's sushi. Yeah, it oh, I have to. Oh, dang, my reading comprehension sucks a lot. Six keys left. 
Yes, sir. There's a hole here. Look into the hole? Yeah, why not? Wait, isn't this a scary area? <gasps> Better just be a dog being like, yo, what's up? What? What? Basil! Homie, I'm gonna get you out of there! What's going on? Bro, you okay? Don't be a demon. Ah! Well. How did that make me jump? It's just Basil. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Hi. What? Toy box. Is that in the real? No, I wasn't done! What? What? I... I'm so effing angry. I need to finish the store. Do I save scum? F it. I'm doing it. Play the game blind, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. Let's read the last book. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. A group of six friends eat delicious homemade breakfast. Watch TV together. God, that sounds like heaven, man. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. I look at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He would be able to watch this with everyone until 10 a.m. When his tutor arrives. He grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Dang. That's, was that worth it? Yes, I think so. Wait, what the freak? The wall seems hollow. Can I not... Can I not do anything else? Uh... Weird. I'm gonna try a little bit more before we go back to the white space. Huh? That was it! I knew it! Something opened, bro. Okay. So I went ahead and reread all the books. The game obviously didn't know I already freaking read them, but you know... Ugh. Bruh. I'm using my noggin this time, guys. It's about time. Huh. This doesn't open? I swear to God. <gasps> it did. What? It's Basil again. Right? Oh. Oh, no. Uh, that was... something. Grand piano. The word of Mori. It's etched across the center. I'll try and put some jump in that. Wait, a white egret orchid. That's the same as... You know, Basil's... Grandma. You feel better. I didn't really need to heal, but this is my reward. Well, kind of a cruddy reward, but I guess it's symbolic of something that probably won't be cruddy in the future. Anyway, I'm going to take that L again. Don't mind me. Time to be horrified again. You know, I forgot that even happened. The key thing and that. And that could say, yeah, I'm losing my mind. But also, like, dude, reading those books ain't fast. Yes, I read them a second time. What the... why the piano go away? What's up with you stinking... thing? A light bulb. Yeah, that's the word for it. Oh my gosh. It needs a haircut. Crazy. What is the symbolism? What is its purpose? Oh yeah, we gotta die. Well... Time to go back to the real world! Not gonna lie, I was having fun. You know, in the dream world. The, uh, the real world not nearly as interesting, cause, well, it's the real world. Like, what do you, what do you want me to say? But I imagine some interesting stuff will occur. Wait, isn't Hero coming back today? F yeah! Wait, no, I think it's two days from now. False alarm. Oh, I hate Mondays. Ah! Jesus, piss! Why they gotta make that sound so realistic, bruh? Almost crap my pants. Wow, what do you want? Hey, homie. Hello, hello, Sonny, are you there? <laughs> 
I think I am. I never really thought about it before. Go with it on. Let your friend in. So, homie, don't be a demon. Please. I don't have my comp with me. It could get dead. Oh, thank God. There's a kid you have there. Yo, Sonny, what's up, bruh? Top of the morning to you. <laughs> like I'm British. Well, more like noon. It turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funnier if we went together. Wait, it might be funner if we went together. You want to come along? Yeah, bro, let's we'll do it, man. Come on. Let's go! Yeah! We're gonna... Oh, I should probably my door. F it. Can't... Can't do... What? Huh? What the... What happened here? Dang it! it must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang and their... Ugh, tacky fun gradients! Sonny, be honest. Do I smell? Can't be smell worse than me. Shoot. I think it's just like, you know, a rhetorical question. Hey, pop! Oh, whoa, 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 Sonny, Sonny, <laughs> we can't talk to the puppy. Oh, man. Oh, well, whatever. Guess let's go over to the plaza and get whatever stinking Kel's mom needs or whatever they're done. Dude, that's how I'm trying to be, bruh. All this crazy stinking demon world bullcrap, and I just want to be grilling. Wait, what else? What, can I talk to the grill guy? Was he here before? Oh, don't, bro. Give me the trash. Basil! What are you doing? Hey, Kel. Uh oh. Hey, Sonny. What's up, Baze? Nice to see you out and about. Feeling any better? Huh? Yesterday. What do you mean? Yeah, the big stomach ache and you're going <laughs> in the bathroom. You know. So we had to go poop. <sighs> All right. Yes, I feel much better now. Do you want to hang out with us today? More the merrier. Sonny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. And I'm not talking dead or nothing. I, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow? Okay. Sorry. Nah, uh, don't worry. You're going to force yourself. You can always catch up later. Yeah, as long as this is goodbye, goodbye. With the power of the internet, you can keep up with your friends. For as long as you want them around, I guess. Or vice versa. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, I guess. Don't have trails. Also, hello, future me. Ooh, making patties is hard work. Once I sink my teeth into that tender, juicy burger, it's all going to be worth it. You can almost taste it now. Dear. Wait. Dear, pay attention. The patties are burning. Ah, uh, shoot. Thanks, son. That was close. Bruh. A true all-American role model. <laughs> uh, stupid freaking stupid bears. <laughs> Let's see. I'm pretty sure we got to stop at Gino's Pizza and the Bakery and Other Mart. Lead the way, Sonny. Oh, yeah. I got a burp, though. Hold on. That wasn't a loud burp at all. You barely even heard it. Well, here we are. Oh, dang. It's Aubrey. <gasps> Do I stink? Maybe I should talk to her. Gino's Pizza is the bomb. This one is disgusting, dirty, greasy-looking cheese pizza. Just the way I like it. What? That's rude. Let's dig in. So much. We're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm going to bring my fishing pole. Made it myself. Out of a cool stick we found in a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it'll work, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to our secret hideout. I forget how I made the Maverick sound. Mmm, that's a perfect date spot. Mmm, I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Mmm. Swimming. Mmm. Sounds pretty fun. Well, while you're all fooling around being babies, I'm going to be busy skipping rock. That is also a childish activity. I've been looking for the perfect rocks all week. <laughs> Sounds time consuming. Hmm. You can try all you want, Kim, but she'll never beat Aubrey's record. 
Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girls would actually want to go to the lake with you <laughs> without you paying them. Oh, I told you to call me the Maverick. Ah, oh, bring my thong. What a loser. Hey, I bit, I bit my tongue. You know, eventually, if you talk a lot, you're gonna bite your tongue. One of these. Master, are you hurt? You prefer this kid? Okay then. Maybe now's a bad time. My wife keeps telling me that I'm gonna get chubbier and tubbier, but I just can't help myself when we live so close to Gino's Pizza. Uh, I really shouldn't get anything though. Last night my wife smelled pepperoni on my breath and got really mad. Hey, I'll take this off your hands if you don't, uh, you know. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Oh my gosh, my crush is sitting right there. What do I do, what do I do? Breathe, BB. You gotta be cool. Singing this guy, Gino, who are you talking about? My older daughter is coming home tonight from college. I'm sure she'll have lots of tips about what's hip and cool these days. I can't wait to catch up with her. That's nice. I'm Rye. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. Yeah. You play a CD on the jukebox here, I bet I can tell you who the artist of the track is. Yeah. I'm back in this game too. Burger Burg in the house. Nope, this is not this is not Burger Burg. This is time for pizza. Hello and welcome to Geno's Pizza. What can I get for you? Also, I won't be in Smash. Hey, I'm here to pick up an order. Ah, uh, yeah. What you like? Oh, I know. You would like a pizza? Why? Wow. I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm here to pick it up. Oh, that sounds good. Dude, there's no descriptions of the sandwich other than it is a hero sandwich and my mouth is watering. Bruh, why am I always hungry? I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. Yes. But, but they're on the menu. It's, yeah, it's on the menu for a reason. Uh, yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. Stupid family. They're bread for the... You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. I think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something, but no, he just really likes sandwiches. Dang. Relatable, I guess. Okay, here's your Hero sandwich. Please enjoy your... We got the pizza order. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks. All right, good to go now, Sonny. Remember when you are. You just need to go get the cookies from the bakery and other mart. But uh, Aubrey, I, th this, no, it's too painful. She'd be happier without me. F it, I don't care. Yolo. Dang, silent treatment. I don't know what I did, but I'm very sorry, madam. Dang it! I'm trying to fix the old arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. Looks like it was just bitten off right here. Wonder where it could be. Guess that's a little side quest. Maybe, maybe not. Oh well, F it. Wait, who the crud was that guy? Is they put me in the game? Hold up, eh, we're going back, we're going. It is me, messy hair man with glasses and that giant, giant nose of his. Yesterday while I, wait, hold up. <clears throat> I mean, how do I do an impression of myself? How do I do that? What is my true self, bro? I don't even know. All right, I'll try. Yesterday, while I was eating a banana, I found a cool overgrown lake area just behind the park. But soon after, a bunch of hooligans on scooters rolled in and kicked me out. And to make matters worse, they threw away my banana. I can't let a bunch of kids boss me around. I'm an adult. I'm a YouTuber, dang it. <laughs> A young adult, at least. Yeah, whatever, dude. Moving on. Let's get them cookies. Maybe you were just staring at them while you're eating the banana. Maybe that's what caused the drama. <laughs> oh God, that's that is awful implications. Wait, that's what the Rock was talking about, bro. I'm dumb. Let's go to the bakery, bro. My mom ordered something there. All right, sounds good to me. <laughs> what the? What the dump? Kel, did you see that? Bro, what? The? <sighs> I need some sushi. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking. Okay, let's just get the bread, I guess. 
Hello. Welcome to my family bakery. What would you like? I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming. Though I expected you'd be a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. Hey, we don't need the... Yo, I'm paying custom. We don't need the unnecessary comments. Yeah. So now the bakery belongs to Mikhail's family? I guess you can't really tell because he wears a horrible yellow wig all the time, but seems like he's making a pretty bad effort to stand out and be different. Hmm. Been there before. Here's your order. I hope you see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. Nice. Thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Where to next, bro? I kind of... <laughs> I wonder if uh, Miss Sweetheart over here has any new dialogue. Hello. Hi, hi, it's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like to do? No, I'm good. Thanks for offering. You know what? I'm, I'm back to liking pigtails. <laughs> Baked goods, chick. Sandwiches, chick. Well, that's everything. And just in time, too. Looks like the sun's about to set. Let's go back to my house. Here should be coming anytime. Oh, F yeah, we gotta go see his house. Bruh. That is so cool. I kind of want to hunt around for Easter eggs, but I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm not good at that. Maybe we can... Hmm. Where did he say exactly the entrance to their hideout was at? I don't recall. Oh, well, whatever. I don't want to talk about lame all again. This is a nice view. You're just staring at the tree. What? Maybe you're just staring at this guy's butt? I don't know. Eh. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom's going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I'm supposed to bring everything back around noon, but it got carried away doing other stuff, and well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. Blame it on you! I think you should walk in first. That way, she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. <laughs> see, it's a win-win for everyone. But I have to go in first. Oh gosh, oh yes, I can finally talk to the dog. <sighs> Am I a good boy? I don't know, that depends. Did you do your taxes? <laughs> you better! Anyway. Wow. Nice house, actually. Dang, look at that, look at that family portrait, shoot! Mom, Sonny's here! My plan did not work because you li- Oh, she ran fast. Holy dump! What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago! How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? My god! Oh my, is that Sonny? Oh, it must be! It's so good to see you again! Oh, I remember when you were in diapers! But dear, you look so thin! Have you been eating properly? Uh, here's the stuff you asked for. Sorry, it took so long. <laughs> hey, here's Sonny. Let's go upstairs to my room. I can die, okay. well, now you wait just a second, young man. Mom, uh, see you later when dinner's ready. <laughs> I'm just having sandwiches. It's probably already done. Dang, how many photos of stinking pottery y'all got? Or whatever the freaks. Probably trees. Bunch of family photos. Kel sure has a lot of relatives. That can be nice. But also not nice. Oh, why is this locked? Oh, it's probably a hero's room. You guys got amiibos? Cool. There are a few new additions since you were last here. Wow, you got Solid Snake. I hear he's rare. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Looks like I got a basketball hoop and a boombox, just like I always wanted. Here, play a little song for you. You like jazz? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. NBA Jam 2 Killer! Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I don't know. I'm kind of like the coolest guy ever. Mom won't let me play it too loud, though, because she says it's bad for Sally. Oh, you got a little sister? Wait, you haven't met Sally, huh? Well, uh, yeah, my family's still going at it. <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. I'll probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Can't wait to meet her. There's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you, Cal. I said keep away from scary women. Oh, dumb. I wonder who that could be. 
A girl at the door. Well, time to go inside that bedroom and look for... Wait, they don't got... They ain't got no bedroom. Well, I guess that's what that room is. Then where did Hero sleep? Maybe they shared a room. Then Kel got it all to himself. Who bloody knows? Hey, more weaponry. Yeah, I should probably shouldn't steal that. Where was the front door? Am I stupid or something? How do I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's over here. Dude, I swear, I record these sober. I'm th I'm 27 stinking years sober, all right? Freaking eh! Hey, Sonny. Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. Oh, it's Polly. Dude, I thought I was a secret admirer. I thought he might be with you. Basil? I haven't seen them since last chapter. Wait, what does that even mean? Oh, wait, that's a lie! We saw him at the park earlier. That was a while ago. See him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Uh, of course, yeah, we'll be on the lookout. Thanks, I know I can count on you guys. Oh, we got, yo, dinner come, wait, we gotta find Basil. Bruh, again! Basil's missing today. I'm a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang around. Maybe should try and find him before he gets dark. Yes, we should. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. <sighs> okay. Just make sure you're home by dinner. I'm on a bus. Maybe we should give the dog the flower crown and know that would probably end horribly. He'd probably just chew on it instead of smelling it to find the scent. All right, Cal, we gotta look for clues, see? Anything? Nope, nothing at all. Man, where could Basil be, bro? I don't see him anywhere. Bummer. Somebody help. Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Or the narrator's bad idea of giving people stupid voices every- Help me, please! Oh my god. Where's the voice coming from? Bruh. Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot. Get in there, bro. Where is it? Where's the entrance? Homie, what? The entrance should be around here somewhere? Uh. Oh. Just like that. Yeah! 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 Uh, don't! How can I not enter the freaking? Oh no! Oh no! What's going on? Help me, somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hideout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. D wait, that's also Maverick's voice. Whatever. Dang it, Basil! Be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. There's what something. I don't remember my character motivation or anything. Uh... Hey! Stop being turds! What? What are you doing to Basil? What? It's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How'd you even find this place? I don't know. Reverse psychosis. Or... Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. When? Don't do anything drastic, Aubrey, please. Oh no, she going to kill us. Ah! Aubrey, use the headbutt attack. Ugh, go away, Cal, you're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? Uh, that's not, I remember I owned uh, all the land in America, so you are actually on my turf. Mm. Well, this used to be my old high spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. I can't crack my knuckles right now. Eh, hold on. Eh, I got like one crack, whatever. Kel's standing firm, dude. Fine. That's how it's gonna be? Then at least stop bullying Basil. And playing this really, like, th three note song. We aren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. <laughs> Why should I believe in you? Telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Whoa, you can't be saying that. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this the last time these two mess with us. Sounds good to me. I'm right behind the Maverick. Aubrey, gonna join in? You also want to fight? Oh, God. Oh, I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case. <laughs> Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sonny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. Or we could just not. I, uh, How do I even fight? Dog, this is so unfair. Uh. 
Freaking dude, we are boned. This is not good. Dog. What a what a bummer. Come on. Oh, 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 Sunny, use the knife attack. Oh god, that does nothing. Jesus Christ. This is some bull crap, bro. I just... Maybe it's not a lost cause. Hold up. Do we have anything here? Restore some heart. Okay, focus. Yeah, we got that at least. Maybe we can do something. Come on! It's, it's seriously like five against one. This is such bull crap. Oh my god, this is so dumb. Eat this! Okay, you know, it, it did something, I guess. Maybe we can do more damage with, um... With this. I don't know. Oh, no, nope, Kale's already dead. Son of a gun, that's not even fair. Do we have to grind up in the real world, too? Nah, we're meant to lose this. There's just no way. Dumb, bruh. Oh, well. We tried. <laughs> Is this... Real life? We won, Master, we won! Seriously, you're right, nerds. I'm hungry. Let's go get some food, dude. Kel, Sonny, get the heck out of here. All right, Queen Midrift. Ugh. Well, that sucked. Wow, we really did it. The evil foes have been defeated. Cool. Man, I thought we were going to win, dude. Pfft, we would have if we had a hero. Sorry, Sonny. Why do I think we could take on six people at once? I mean, dude, you're just serious how many bears we'd be? They're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Cal. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. Okay, drama queen, whatever. Freaking, can we get Basil back? Like, her guard, his guardian is looking for him like, bear. No, I won't. I can't just leave her knowing this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Maury's already dead. Can you stop it with that? While you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now. You're still hanging out at our old hiding spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Nah, Kel be hitting different. Dude, Kel may be the weakest ca canonical character, but dude, he my favorite. Straight up. Facts, bruh. It, right, Aubrey? He, he's just a d dumb lame. Oh, no. Aubrey, please don't cry. <sighs> this ain't fun no more. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it, dude. So getting out over this guy got a full F and B. Like that's a that's a he paying he got child support, bro. And you playing with scooters? Crazy. You coming, Aubrey? Okay, catch catch you later. <laughs> oh God, Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Come on, why? You guys keep coming back. I just want to be. I just want you to leave me alone, Sonny. Why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? We used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully? But you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? Uh, what the? No, don't, don't, stop! And you, you're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Hey, Basil, do what? Huh? Aubrey? Uh, get away from me! Aw, oh, come on. Now, did you have to do all that? Shoot. Can Basil swim? Oh my god. They don't live a peninsula. Uh, what the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You're taking this way too far. Uh, wait, hold on. I, I didn't mean... Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Whoosh! Just go help Basil. I'm on it, boss. Man, F y'all. I'll be swimming every day. 
I don't give two dumps. Get this octopus bull crap out of my face. I'm in there, dude. I was never a lifeguard, but I wanted to be. I swim like a turtle. And then people ride on my back, dude. Y'all seen Finding whatever? I forget the movie's name. But you know, he's got the turtle and he's like, Shaka, bro! It's Finding Nemo. Dude, why'd that take me so long? Do you like Finding Nemo? Maybe. Take that as a no. You know, you really shouldn't run on the stairs like this. Wait, what the crud? Mari, I'm sorry. I don't understand what happened. What the crud? <laughs> I'm on guard this time. I'm thinking about finding Nemo and the Browns. How that, you know... The day of this recording, they haven't they haven't played their game yet, but it's coming up, bro. That'll be a day to remember. Wait, weren't we supposed to rescue Basil? Do we really have time for a manic episode? I mean, we always do. What the heck? Don't make me fight my own sister. That's effed up. Bro, now what? Ha! Huh? What the crud? I love finding Nemo. <laughs> oh my god. Hold me, I got it. I cannot scream at night. Like, dude, I will get kicked out of my apartment. Something drags you down. Oh god, no. It's an octopus. Oh, it actually is an oct no, that's just something. Yeah. Something is struggling. Oh my god. Dude. Alright, just calm down. Octopuses are not real. They're non-fiction. And all that stuff. Oh yeah, we bit we back. Say your heart rate, don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Yeah. You think I'm afraid of you? Well you'll be you're right, but like, you should be afraid of me. You have to keep going, don't give up, no matter what. It's if how it seems impossible. You reach out of the voice. Remember how to persist. Let's check it out. What's that do? Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. Okay. You know, you know the moves all look the same because you just inhale and exhale, bro. Yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, it's just seaweed. That's all. Oh, dumb. Water pulls Sunny down. Okay. Oh, dumb. We still can't hit it. Some bull crap. I guess just keep persisting. No, really, really. Amiibo will become more popular. It's a good idea to invest. Believe me, dude. They're gonna be awesome. They'll be used in every game. This is no way a scam. Buy the Rosalina Amiibo for $90. I never did. Dang, this has been a strange, string of conscience episode, bruh. But at least I didn't have a room full of bears to annoy me. Oh, snap. Yeah, sorry, I kind of spaced out. I was thinking the Cleveland Browns. Oh, this is Basil. Rescue it. Wait, no, it's our sister. Is this today or, you know, what we read in the library? I cannot tell. Because I'm not intelligent. That's okay, I guess. Eh. Huh. It's him! <laughs> Yo, homie, what's good? <laughs> Dang, bro. And someone said, oh, he's not a good named hero because he rescued a puppy. Dude, he's a homie in my book. What's good, bro? Give me some skin. Yeah, you watching the Browns game tomorrow? Yes, sir. Hmm. Looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm quickly. Yeah. He's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. You can come to Aubrey. Wait! Where do you think you're all going? I don't know. We're going friggin' like not here. Like, let's be honest, they're kind of stanky. Uh, cause you are here. You know, we're gonna leave and use the scientific method to understand. Like, is is this place stinky or is it you? Like, you know, don't think you've caused enough trouble here, lady. Come on, guys, we gotta go. Gentlemen's out. 
<laughs> Hero's like, dude, that was kind of sexist. You shouldn't say that. I mean, I know she literally pushed him in to the water and caused this whole event, but... We have to respect women. Tell him how it is, Hero. I'm just happy everything worked out. God dang, bro. Also, Hero's here. Yay! Don't worry, homie. We'll get you the sandwich as soon as we can. I want to watch The Sopranos. I don't know why I mentioned that in this episode, but I think I'm going to start it tomorrow, and I'm very excited about that. Do you think Basil would like The Sopranos? Probably not. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? <laughs> Probably. Dude, how cool does Hero look in his sprite thing? Oh my effing god. Ah! Oh, he's so cool. His breathing is stable. He needs to change his clothes in a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Come inside, quickly. Okay. Can you help me bring him into his room? Sure thing. Well, the sandwich is gonna get soggy. That was intense, bro. Oh, Basil wakes up. Same. I'm gonna start eating these flowers if we don't get some food. <laughs> All right. So, which one was Basil's room? Uh, yeah, not this room. Suh, suh. Ugh. Wouldn't it be funny if I did this a hundred times and something was in the door? That'd be crazy. <laughs> anyway. Let's <laughs> uh, head inside here, I guess. Huh. Guess something's taken care of. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. Looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. Heard from Mom that Basil was missing and you two were looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. Guess I got there right in the nick of time. So what was happening back there? Well... I don't really know. Aubrey, she pushed Basil into the lake. I still don't get why. What? Basil never heard her fly. Uh, what? That was Aubrey back there? No way. She, she wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. It's not the same anymore, hero. It's become all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. But no, homie, you gotta be a lawyer or whatever the freak you going like hero like he gonna get one of them big jobs, you know what I'm saying? Like there's jobs and then there's big jobs. You need a higher education for that. It's not your fault this happened. This could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. Done all you can. Come on, let's go home. Thank Kel's the actual like supportive big brother or little brother. Homie. But which one's taller? We gotta know. What's the status update? Come on, game, please! Th this is answer the important questions here. You know, Sonny, you're pretty awesome back there. Jumping in the lake to save Basil like that. Even if you ended up saving the day. I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Do you want a high five, Kel? Oh yeah, you know it, baby. Shush. Dang, it's so wholesome. Well, crud. Now what the dump do we do? I guess head home. Anyways, hope you guys like this part. I uh, boy, oh boy, did I f up that reading segment, dude? I'd just legit say, uh, listen, my mind is elsewhere. Okay, the biggest game in all of football is about to occur, and I want to see it. So yeah. I kind of hustled it up a little bit. Whatever. Next time on Amori. It's time to eat some sandwiches. <laughs> I can't wait. See you guys next time, alright? Bye.